Hey guys, Chris from 4K Motoring back with you, and that's a spoiler. So in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about the hood seal mods that I talked about on one of my last videos. Got a couple questions about them, so I wanted to clear a few things up. So I've been wanting to get that front hood seal for a while, just for cleanliness of the engine, really. It was my goal there. Keeps a lot of stuff coming in right from that front end, especially with moisture and water and up and down on the air filters. That was something that I, with the policies and all that stuff happening around North Carolina, I really wanted. When I got that product, it was relatively inexpensive, came from Midwest Corvettes and fit perfectly. A uh, really good product, not really for my opinion. When I got it, I was reading the instructions and it mentioned that the rear hood seal closest to the windshield could be pulled up. It's not, there's no adhesive or anything. There's nothing that makes that difficult. You just pull it up. And in doing so, there's, I guess, an issue with the C5 Corvettes. When you're at high speed, the air ramming up into the radiator, into the front end of the car, has nowhere to go, really. So it makes the front end feel a little light, is what they say. And also, the radiator struggles a bit to cool just because of that. There's, the airflow isn't what it could be. It's kind of getting crammed up. So they're saying by removing this seal, you can actually fix that and have air flow out from under the hood get the hood sucked back down to the ground and keep air moving through that radiator was their main claim. So I've had this on for a little while now. I don't think I've exceeded 80 miles an hour with it at this point. So I can't tell you whether that's worked or not. I don't believe I've noticed anything that was air related as far as keeping the front end light or up. So on your daily driver, probably not a big deal. If you track the car, maybe, but you might also have some other solutions for that. But with that, since the front end now, in theory, is down on the ground a little bit more, I went ahead and got a rear spoiler. Not a huge one, but you can probably see it in the back behind me. I'll show pictures. Just to keep the back end down if the front end is now being a little bit more stuck to the ground. So hopefully I have a little bit more planted car. I haven't driven it enough to know if there's any fuel mile differences, to know if I'm really creating downforce. I haven't driven it enough to see if there's bugs collecting on it. That I don't know. It's not a big spoiler, so it's more, mostly cosmetic that I would anticipate. But at least it kind of looks the part and might give me something extra. Now this is something totally subjective, but I feel like since I've done these two little mods, the spoiler and the hood seal, the engine noise seems louder in the cab. This is when I'm cruising, when I'm accelerating. Doesn't seem a lot louder, but it does seem louder. And I don't know if that's, you know, if either of those things is responsible for that. I don't know if the spoiler maybe creating some negative pressure, some lower pressure, a little higher out that's kept me hearing some of the noises. I don't know if the lack of the hood seal is letting noise through, but it does seem a little louder and even the girlfriend has commented on it being louder since then. So I don't know what to make of it. It just is what it is at this point. So there it is, still working on polishing it down. Did have to paint it when it came in. It came in in a flat black kind of primer coating, very rough coating. I went ahead and used, I'll show you what I used, just some Duplicolor Automotive generic black, gloss black, and clear coat. So put that on, went on pretty easily. Now I need to just finish polishing it up to give it a nice shine. Got it pretty smooth now. That's pretty much it. It was a pretty easy installation. Some 3M tape holds it on. Seems to be very secure. I don't know that there's much structure under that piece to push down on, so it is what it is. I think it fits the car and it's just a little something to add to it. Finish out the look.
As always, thank you guys for watching 4K Motoring. We appreciate it. Please go ahead and give this video a like. It really helps us out. Subscribe if you want to see more content, and we'll definitely have more soon.